Hey guys, this is Ruth Schwank, and I wanted to hop on here today to share a devotional with you from my devotional, the Better Mom devotional. This is um, my devotional that came out last fall, and um, I'm, I occasionally hop on here and, and share devotions with you and hope that they are an encouragement to you. So this devotion that I'm reading today is called Don't waste the wait. Psalm 33, 20 through 21 says, We wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. Have you ever noticed that there's a lot of waiting in the Bible? Abraham waited for an heir. Hannah waited for a child. King David waited for help. Israel waited for deliverance, but nobody likes to wait. As human beings, we like things to happen fast. Today is better than tomorrow. So it's no surprise that some people in the Bible ran into trouble while they were waiting. Their waiting provided the perfect opportunity for their wandering. Israel, fresh out of Egypt, is only one example. They had just seen the mighty hand of their deliverer, experienced his gracious provision, and been blessed by his faithfulness, and yet, in a moment of waiting, they quickly wandered from God. In Exodus 32, 8, we read, They have been quick to turn away from what I had commanded them and have made themselves an idol cast in the shape of a calf. So here, God had been so faithful to them. He'd been so faithful over and over again. And then in a moment of waiting... They doubted him and they turned away. Oh, I, I don't know about you, but when you read those parts of the Bible, it's so frustrating. And then I'm like, wait a minute, we do exactly the same thing. Why do we do that? I can't help but be struck by that phrase, quick to turn away. When God seemed slow to answer, they were quick to turn away. How easily we can become discouraged, resentful, forgetful, impatient, and even disobedient when we're waiting on God. Maybe you're waiting for God's provision. Perhaps you're waiting for him to right a wrong. Or maybe you're waiting for God to fulfill a promise. Regardless of your waiting, don't let it become an opportunity to wander. Be careful of being quick to turn away. And as I'm reading this, what comes to mind is that there's probably a lot of you that are going through really hard things. And so I'm not making light of that. And I know that in the waiting, the wandering, uh, in the waiting, the wandering is so tempting because it's hard. The waiting can be really hard, especially when you're dealing with, with very heavy burdensome things. Um, maybe it's a health crisis. I, this is, I'm, I'm completely understanding this. My husband, um, for those that have been following along last year, was over a year ago now, was um, diagnosed with cancer. And we went through an entire year of treatments and two stem cell transplants. And it was, we were just waiting and waiting for the next treatment, waiting, waiting, waiting for the cancer to be in remission, hopeful that it would actually happen. And praise the Lord, he is in complete remission now. But I want to tell you that I understand in the waiting, the wandering can be so tempting because it's hard. It's so, so hard. But be careful of being quick to turn away. We're so quick to turn away when we don't understand what God is doing. So I want to encourage you today to wait for him in hope. Turn to him in trust. God never, ever, ever wastes our waiting.